Director of the Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center, Dr. Chaitanya Prakash Yogi, Mr. Ishwar Ram Lachman, the President and Founder of the Shivananda World Peace Foundation, Mr. Kugan Naidu, colleagues Ms. Cheryl Banwarilal, Ms. Kavita Solanki, Mr. Piyush Kandelwal, distinguished online guests. It gives me a great pleasure in welcoming you all to today's program, Yoga for the Benefit of Senior Citizens. Without further ado, I present to you Ms. Kavita Solanki, teacher of Indian culture at the consulate at SBCC, at the Consulate General of India in Durban, for her opening prayer. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makashe Dukha Bhagavave Om Shanti 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 Thank you. Thank you so much, Kavita Ji. I would like to now present to you Mr. Kugan Naidu, who is 46 years old and has an advanced diploma in yoga therapy, who has studied in Rishikesh, Nastik, and Pune in India. We present to you Mr. Kugan Naidu for his demonstration on yoga for the benefit of senior citizens. Namaskar to all of you. Yoga for senior citizens is slightly different from the yoga we practice in general classes. Senior citizens need to be very, very slow in the movements due to the bone structure of diabetes and other diseases that we have. The movements are very, very slow, so they should be, ca they should be caution exercised when doing these movements. We're going to start with very, very simple neck rotations. If you have cervical spondylysis, pain in the neck, or any discomfort in the spine area, please proceed with caution. As we slowly breathe out, release the chin, chest. And as you breathe in, raise up the head all the way back. And breathing out, slowly return the chin to the chest. This movement can be continued for as long as comfortably possible. Make sure the movements are slow and make sure that you are seated comfortably on your, on your chair or your ottoman or the bed. As you inhale, raise up the head and come to a neutral position. The next movement is a ear to shoulder movement. So breathing in, keep the head straight. And as we breathe out, release the ear to the shoulder, creating a stretch on the other side and slowly raise up the head, taking the left ear all the way to the left shoulder, creating a stretch on the right side. The movement should be slow and gentle. Slowly raise up the head. And once again, change sides. And come up. And over to the other side. Movement should be very, very slow at this stage. Make sure you're quite comfortable on the chair or the ottoman, wherever you are sitting. Take the arms out to the side. Stretch the wrist. Spread the fingers. Turn the palms gently forward. And extend the arms. Slowly breathe in. Lift the chest. Lift the shoulders. This will ease any tension in the spine. Once again, slowly release your hands and place them onto the thigh. If this is uncomfortable, you may hold on to your support. Use a sigh. It's a more natural 
position for the arms. Roll the shoulders back. Keep the chest open. This will encourage proper circulation of the heart and the lungs will pull up with air. We are very prone to crouching forward and resting over. We need to open the lungs, open the chest, open the area of the heart as well. Keep the spine erect. Keep the chest open. Place the weight of the body onto the feet. Stabilize the support. Rolling the shoulders back once again. Raise up the head. And very slowly breathing out, release the head and the chin to the chest. With a gentle rotation, take the ear to the shoulder and the head back. And slowly release the ear to the shoulder and the chin to the chest. Continue this movement for a few rounds. Exercising caution, especially if you have severe pain in the, in the neck or spondylitis. Once you've completed this round, slowly change the direction of your rotation. This will bring relief to neck pain, upper back pain, and shoulder relief. As we age, arthritis sets in, other ailments sets in, and we need to have a very, very gentle movement of the upper torso, and this prevents us from becoming too stiff. When our joints are not moved or not exercised, this can cause calcification of the fluid, the hardening of the fluid within our joints. The, the, this fluid then becomes brittle and can cause, can, can cause further injury. We're now going to take our arms out to the side once again. Turn the palms up and as we breathe in, raise up the arms. This is known as Urdhva Astasana. It gives a lengthening to the arms, the sides of the trunk and the spine. As you breathe in, you can lift the arms. And as you breathe out, you can gently turn the palms forward. Breathe in and stretch. Breathe out and turn the palms outward. This gives the shoulders a good movement and good opening of the chest as well. Slowly breathe out and release. One more time, breathe in, raise up the arms as slowly as possible, there's no rush. Once the upper arms in line with the ear, extend the arms, lift the fingers, lift the wrist, lift the sides of the trunk. Breathing out, turn the palms forward and extend left. Turn the palms to face outwards, extend and slowly release as you breathe out. This encourages good shoulder movement, good spinal extension, and extends the sides of the trunk as well. We're going to now raise up our arms one more time for a gentle side stretch. Keep both the arms extended and very slowly release the right hand onto the side, keeping the left hand extended. As you in, extend the straight hand and gently side stretch using your chair or the ottoman or your pouch. Breathe in to come up, release and change hands. Extend that as you breathe in and as you breathe out, slowly side stretch and breathe in to come up. These movements can be done as often as possible. The next movement you're going to do is known as the bound hand pose, Padanguli Asana. Interlace the fingers in front of you, rotate at the wrist, turn the palms away from you, and stretch. Extend the wrist, extend the palms, breathe in and raise up the arms, and lift the wrist, lift the palms, keep your seat, keep your thighs fixed onto the seat, Keep your feet pressed onto the floor. This will give you more lift. And as you breathe in, extend. As you breathe out, slowly side stretch to the right. Breathe in to come up. 
side, stretch to the left. Breathe in. You can repeat. Side stretch to the right. Breathe in and come up. Side stretch to the left. Breathe in and come up. And very slowly release. With the onset of chronic diseases, especially as you mentioned, diabetes affects a lot of our senior people, we encourage a lot of movement around the abdominal area. Advanced twisting is not recommended, rather a gentle twist. Place your right hand slightly behind your seat or your hip or wherever comfortable. Place the left hand over the right knee or rest it on the thigh. Breathe in, lengthen the spine, and as you breathe out, gently twist, keeping the chest open but the abdomen soft. Then you slowly release and change size. Take the left hand behind you, the right hand over, breathe in to lift the chest, the spine, and gently twist over to the side. Your movement should be slow, your seat should be firm, your feet should be firm. Slowly return to center. Roll the shoulders back. Extend the arms once again. Turn the palms to face behind you. Extend and move the palms slightly behind you. Almost a flapping, a flapping motion. This will encourage you to open the chest and relieve any tension in the upper back and especially in the trapezius area. And release. Place your hands up onto the thighs. Breathing in. Lift the spine, keep the chest open, but be in a relaxed position. The next movement we're going to do is a gentle forward stretch, sliding your hand down the knee, down the calf, and just rest. And breathe in to come up. These movements are good for people that have high blood pressure, just any forward fold, any forward bend is rendered to be very, very common. So once again, breathe in, open the chest, and as you breathe out, gently bend forward and release. And breathe in to go up and rest. We're now going to focus on some very, very simple relaxation that could assist our seniors, more especially with hypertension or stress. Sit in a comfortable, comfortable position. You are most welcome to. Press the feet down as firmly as you can. Spread all ten toes. Get your grip. Firm up the thighs. Now the firmer the base, the less pressure you have on your torso. Chest open now. The movements that you've been doing thus far is actually preparation for what you're doing now. The chest is open, the shoulders are soft, the neck is relaxed, eyes closed, and now learn to soften. Soften physically and soften mentally. Let the breath become very, very slow. Slower your breathing. You can even choose to count. Breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, five, six. Once you've established your breathing pattern, sit comfortably, sit erect, if you need the support for your back, or your neck, please take it. Now find yourself becoming very, very relaxed and calm at the same time. Feel your body quieten. Feel your breath soften, especially from the forehead. With your eyes closed, feel the eyebrows widen away from each other and become soft. The eyes become quiet. Release the lower jaw, which becomes soft. 
Roll the shoulders back. And engage in a soft, slow breathing technique. Breathing slowly as you can. And release as slowly as you can. Breathing. Breathe out. And continue for a few more breaths. You can stay as long as possible. And you would find after a good few minutes of these relaxation techniques, you'll be ready and ready. A lot of senior citizens have, or the elderly, have problems falling asleep. Relaxing techniques. They are not full asanas as such, but these are tools that we need today to help us, to assist us in our daily activities, ease the pressure. And you'd find that if you do these simple relaxation, relaxation techniques, it will help you to become quieter, calmer, and to have a better sleep or a better rest. Namaste. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Kuganji, for that beautiful demonstration on the yoga for the benefit of senior citizens. We would now be playing a short video on yoga. So make sure you have a lot of room to spread out your arms and make sure you have comfortable clothing on because we're about to do some stretches together. So first you'll start with your feet just about hips distance apart. So find your bony hip bones and then your feet will be right under there. At first, just stand tall, let your shoulders come back, lift the crown of your head to the sky, and take a couple deep, long, smooth breaths, calming yourself. Sweep your arms all the way up. Take hold of your left wrist, reaching up and over to the right. Get a side body stretch here. Still breathing fully. Be heavy through the left heel. And then back through center, reach up. Take hold of your right wrist, reach up and over to the side. Let your breathing be smooth and long. Right heel is heavy. And then come back through center. Take your hands down alongside your body. And come back to natural breathing. It's steadying yourself in between these postures so that you're very centered and very grounded very happy throughout your day. This time take your feet just a little bit wider, put a little bend in your knees. Sweep your arms up again, take hold of your left wrist, reach up and over to the side, but this time spin your heart toward the sky for two or three good long breaths. Feel the stretch as it opens your body. Come back through center, reach up, put a little bend in your knees, take hold of your right wrist, reach up and over to the left. Spin your heart up toward the sky and breathe into those places in your body that feel a little bit tight. And one more long, smooth cycle of breath. And and then back to center, straighten out your legs. Take your hands to your waist. Tip your heart up to the sky and even look up if you can, sending your elbows backward. Hug in at your low belly so you have this firm core, a firm foundation, but your heart is opening. Take two long breaths here in and 
out. One more in. And out. The baby bend in your knees and send your heart forward so you almost have a flat back. Take your hands to your thighs and stretch your arms long, looking forward. And then take this into a full fold, so straight or almost straight legs as you drip your body and drip your arms down to the ground. Let's rock the head, yes. And rock the head, no. And then like a pendulum, wave your body to the right. Wave your body to the left. Come back through center. Take your hands onto your thighs. A little bend in your knees. Look forward, lengthen. Exhale, hands to your waist. Inhale, stand right back up where you were before. Heart lifts to the sky. The belly is firm. And then come into a nice neutral stance. Tall spine, relaxed arms. Take your feet a little closer now, hips distance apart once again. Take your hands to your waist, lift your heart to the sky. Go halfway down, look forward, be light through your heart. Slide your hands to your kneecaps this time. Lengthen your spine. And fold all the way down again. This time hold on to your own elbows so they provide a weight for your body. Take a few deep breaths in and out. If you do this every day, you will get more and more comfortable in your body. You're already very flexible, but you'll get even more flexible. Take your hands to your kneecaps again. Look forward, get long in your spine. Exhale, hands to your waist. Inhale, heart up to the sky, all the way. And then a natural stance, relax your arms. Take your feet very wide at this time. Take your left toes inward and your right toes all the way over to the side. Put a bend in your right knee and take your arms wide to a T. In yoga, this is called warrior two stance. And your gaze would be past the right fingers in the direction of the bent knee. Let's straighten through the right leg. Breathe in. Exhale, bend in. Two more like that. Inhale, straight. Exhale, bend. Last one. Inhale, straight. Exhale, bend. Straighten both legs, parallel your feet, slide hands onto your waist. We'll switch the sides this time. Right toes come in, left toes point all the way out. Bend into your left knee for this lunge position, and your arms are wide to a T. Your gaze is past the left fingers now, the bent knees fingers. This is warrior two, so let's find our steadiness like we're riding a surfboard. Next time you breathe in, straighten your left leg. When you breathe out, bend into the leg. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Straighten both legs. Parallel your feet. Hands to the waist. And now we're going to take the heels in, toes out. Take your hands to your thigh. Let's take your right shoulder down and then see if you can look past your left shoulder so your upper body is twisting even as you maintain these bent knees. And this is a stance called goddess. Take a nice breath. In and out. And then back to center. If you need a break, straighten your legs, but maybe you don't need a break. Left shoulder down. And if you can, look past your right shoulder, twisting your body. 
Stay bent and strong in your knees for goddess stance. Take another breathing cycle in and out. Back through center. And then straighten the legs. Sweep your arms up to the sky. Set hands to your waistline. Heel toe your feet in closer and closer. And I want to thank you for doing this today. Keep it up. It'll get easier and easier, better and better. Namaste. Thank you. We've come to the concluding part of today's program. And to render the vote of thanks, I would present to you my colleague, Ms. Cheryl Banwari Lal. On behalf of the Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center at the Consulate General of India, Durban, I would like to express our deep gratitude to Mr. Kugan Naidu. I would like to say a special thank you to Mr. Ishwar Ram Lachman and Dr. Chaitanya Prakash Yogi, Director Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center. I would like to say a special thank you to Ms. Kavita Solanki and Ms. Shristi Harinarai. I would like to thank Mr. Piyush Khandewal for all the technical support. Stay home and stay safe. Thank you.